What's going on, fellow Walking Dead fans? Solid Dave Snake here, bringing you a review on the brand new Walking Dead Wolves Not Far building set. And this set just hit my local Walmart last week, and it was only $10. So it's a small set, only 99 pieces, but for $10, it's not bad for what you get. And it does use a lot of reused pieces. It's almost feels like a mashup. But what this scene depicts is from the end of season five, uh, after the credits, whenever it was showing a couple extra scenes and it scrolled across the wall that had wolves not far. And that's all this is supposed to be. And the figure that comes with it is a reused, just like a lot of stuff in this set. It's from the series three blind bags, Michonne. And she is covered in blood for this version. So we've only gotten two Michonnes, two different Michonnes in these building sets. Of course, one being from the Series 1 blind bags, and she was in a very dynamic attacking pose for that one. So it's nice to get her in just a straight-up stoic pose here. And all the detail is nice on her. The blood splatter came out nice. You can even see the glove painted under there with blood on half of it. Of course, we get no paint detail on the face as usual, which is just really odd to me. I wish they would start doing that. These little figures look so great for what they are, except for those faces. It looks so bland. I mean, are you telling me they can paint all that detail on her headband, but not her face? <laughs> but all in all, pretty cool. Of course, has blood on the katana. And she does come with a clear plastic base stand, which all these minifigures come with. However, you don't need it if you're going to be posing her in the actual diorama piece. And I almost wish we would have actually got a wolf character instead of Michonne would have been a little more fitting but let's get this whole set up close here and it actually comes with a in a way another figure it's just this rotted zombie body which this was actually supposed to come with the hospital doors building set and is that zombie from that scene whenever Rick was walking down the hospital hallways and saw that eaten up body of that female laying down the hallway. So I'm surprised they put it with this set and took it out of the other one since that is the scene that this zombie's from. And also another thing that I do not like about it, let me put this down and get it up close, is that there is no painted detail. It is just gray and black. The tone of the plastic and a little bit of a black wash over top. So that's kind of upsetting. And did have to put her together, her arm and her head, which you can move. But for it to lay flat on the ground, you need her head right there. As you can see, it is flat on the bottom. So cool piece, but I wish it would have been painted. I can picture people that are really good at painting these figures having a blast with some of these building sets but for someone like me that isn't a customizer it's a little upsetting getting pieces like this that aren't painted in these sets and she does lay nice and flat in here and there are a lot of other little aesthetic pieces here like this piece with the boxes and shoes that's come with various building sets like the prison uh, gate and tower and Oh, it's, I think it came with the hospital doors as well. Maybe a couple other sets. But a little decorative piece. And then the same decorative pieces that actually came with the hospital doors. All three of these pieces, which do plug in to the bases. But they were all with the hospital. And this concrete piece is actually the top to the prison cells. Which, I can see why they used it. But it is really distracting and takes away from the piece having all these uh, Lego nipples 
on top of it. So I do not like that. And we do get a new piece with this stop sign, which came out really good. I do like that. We get the same cabinet piece that has come with a few of these Walking Dead building sets. Prison Tower and Gate and a couple others. But I like how this one is painted. Really looks like metal and looks like it has uh, rust on it. That came out perfect. Even looks like it has bullet holes throughout. So I like what they did with this piece, even though it's a reused piece. The paint job they gave it makes it look a lot different. I always like that dent right there as well. And of course we get some of the same tile pieces we've gotten in various sets like the Daryl and Chopper set, some more grass, and then we have this sign for Redwood Park and forced in place, which these are all Lego pieces built up for the actual signpost. And then the neatest thing about this set, we have the brick wall in the back with Wolves Not Far painted on it. And of course these are the same kind of block pieces that came with the walls for the governor's room and various other sets of course with the lettering written on uh, certain blocks here which that is the only difficult thing about this set and it's not even really all that difficult you just have to pay attention to the lettering on certain blocks here and make make sure you put them in the right spot so all in all not a uh Set to get too, too excited over, but a cool new addition in for $10, why the heck not? Uh, this is a set that could actually be used uh, just as pieces. You could use a lot of the pieces in this set to make other little diorama pieces for these Walking Dead building sets. So, for 10 bucks, not a bad deal, and I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I will catch you later with more Walking Dead building set reviews in the near future.